Alright, so have you ever used a socket wrench and just as you're about to loosen up a bolt all the way, the, um, the ratcheting mechanism on the wrench stops ratcheting and then you have to kind of remove it and then use your hand and then it might kind of stiffen up again and then you might have to put the wrench back up on again and then it gets loose again you have to take the wrench back off and redo it with your finger and so on. Well, this is very common with Craftsman wrenches and a num number of other brands where there is a little bit too much uh, force required um, to ratchet the mechanism. So in order to fix that, what we'll do is take apart the ratcheting mechanism and on this particular one and like a lot of other socket wrenches, it's held on with this inner circlip um, and then you would just use a circlip plier to bring it together, take it out, and then you can just kind of tap it on the ground and you'll get about three parts that will fall out. They're pretty easy to put back together, but you don't want to lose a spring. Um, and so what you'll do after that is you'll take each piece, wipe it down with a paper towel or use carb cleaner if you have some, just to get rid of the old grease and then replace it with silicone grease. Silicone grease will last a very long time. Uh, it, uh, it has Teflon in it, PTFE is Teflon. And so it will keep things from corroding. It will um, not react with anything inside. Um, it's good for heavy duty use, especially useful for um, wrenches like this. Um, it's also a dielectric, so you can use it for as a contact or a contactor grease to, to keep corrosion from occurring between electrical connections. Um, it's even food grade, so safe to use. You don't have to have gloves on, but having gloves on will just keep your hands cleaner. Um, this is not the typical grease that you would find in an auto parts store. Um, however, it is very useful for anything mechanical related, including uh, the, the shims on a brake pad or the um, slides on a brake caliper. This uh, grease, it's a clear color as well, so if it gets on your clothes, it's not going to stain it. Um, here you go. There you go. The consistency is like most other greases, except for maybe a little bit lighter. And the lightness of this grease is partly what makes the mechanism and the wrench a lot smoother. So now, when I am working with the loose screw, maybe I'm starting off um, or about to completely remove the bolt, the ratcheting mechanism works almost the entire time, all the way until it comes out. Um, and that's much more useful. It also quiets down the mechanism a little bit, so it makes it feel a little bit more quality. Uh, this tube of silicone grease was purchased from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight is one of the few local stores that would have this particular um, grease. I don't remember the exact price, but I think it was about maybe about eight dollars or so. I'll look it up and put it in the description. I'll also put a link in the description as well. Um, definitely useful for around the house. Um, has all types of applications. It's also a good size. And this is for three ounces. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.